What's going on players? Welcome back to another Crossing Void video. And today we'll be looking at my top seven tips for beginners to help you level up fast. So let's see what we can do to get things started. Number one, let's talk about leveling up mechanics. As you progress through the game, your team will gain experience points and level up while the player account also levels up. So if you want your characters to get stronger, you need to level up your account. You gain one experience per one energy spent in the game. So if you spend 100 energy, your account will earn 100 experience points. Prioritize clearing the story until you reach account level 25. At account level 25, you unlock the equipment shop and the ability to use A grade gear. Farming the equipment dungeon will also greatly help you increase the level cap of your account while helping you get stronger from the equipment and additional reward drops. Since the level cap of your characters is based off your player account, the faster you level up, the faster your characters can do the same. Number two, Void Agency. This next one is a biggie. Always have characters out on missions that earn you energy. So if you go into your challenge section and you go to Void Agency, your goal is to always have characters out on a mission. You might only get 10 or 20 energy as a reward, but every little bit helps. So that's 30 more EXP that you can gain a day for your account without even playing the game. Try to avoid spending energy on missions unless you can't run a story or a treasure hunt. You still get account EXP, but you miss out on the story mode rewards and treasure hunt material drop. So it's more efficient to spend energy in those stages rather than on agency missions. Number three, treasure hunt or equipment dungeon. As I mentioned earlier, not only will you gain account experience, coins, and potions, but also secret notes. These can be used to purchase equipment for your characters. This can also be easy to overlook. So once you hit account level 25 by progressing through the story, head over to the treasure hunt and start farming the hardest difficulty possible. Keep in mind that these stages will reward you with the equipment and materials, which in turn will help make playing the game easier and allow you to clear harder content. Number four, let's talk about equipment. Don't be afraid to max level your equipment when starting off the game. C grade or green equipment and B grade blue level equipment require minimal investment and have a level cap. So you might as well max it out ASAP to help your characters. Green gear maxes out at level four and blue gear maxes out at level eight and can be equipped at account level 10. A rank or purple gear can be unlocked once your account gets to level 25 and should be upgraded to at least level 12 to help you progress through the story much easier. So far that's helped me reach account level 45 with very minimal problems. Your equipment stats at these levels aren't really an issue, so max them out. Equip and upgrade all of the equipment on your core team first. Your goal should be to reach account level 25 to start using purple gear. So don't be afraid to fully upgrade your green and blue gear. The higher level your equipment, the more stat bonuses you get for your characters. Once you level high enough to get purple equipment, start swapping out blue and green gear for pu purple gear. You can start thinking about equipment stats once your account reaches level 40 when you can use S level gear. So it's very important as you're progressing through the story to enhance your core team as much as possible. Make sure that you choose your top six favorite characters and you solely focus on them. You want to make your core team as strong as possible so that you can make progress in the game and be able to three star clear stages. So talking about free energy, it sounds kind of silly to mention this, but you don't know how many people forget to use all of their energy while playing the game. Remember that you regenerate one energy every seven minutes and 30 seconds. So try to use up your entire energy bar, including the free energy you receive in the mail from your overflow. This will help you maximize your EXP gained each day. Number six, three star clear the hardest difficulty stage you can. If you only care about account and character EXP, this will help you use the max amount of energy per stage, which is 18 energy per run 
for my free to play people and 24 energy for my pay to play. At 18 energy, not only will you gain EXP at a faster rate, but also three times the rewards for completing a stage. This will help you earn medals and materials from story mode or mats from treasure hunt for equipment to three and four star your characters and make your team stronger. Number seven. So this one is a bonus tip. Just a disclaimer. The next one is not really a tip, but more of my opinion. If you really want to speed up your progress and don't really care how you get there, then what you can actually do is use your MyGo every day up to four times to receive 100 energy for each refresh. So this can be costly and if you are free to play like me, you will struggle getting MyGo from the story. However, if you are pay to play, then you can kind of somewhat well out and purchase MyGo uh, to use for each refresh. So in order to purchase your daily energy, simply go into your energy at the top Click on the 60 MyGo and you're good to go. You can purchase this up to four times each day. So you are limited, but if you want to progress just a bit faster, feel free to use your MyGo. Keep in mind that the game does limit you to only four refreshes per day. The way you spend your MyGo is up to you. So remember, feel free to use your energy to refill or save for the next waifu or limited banner. So to wrap everything up, progressing through the game is very straightforward. Make sure to collect your free energy from daily missions, farm the story until you reach account level 25. Once at 25, farm treasure hunt or event dungeon and aim at equipping your whole team with at least level 12 purple gear. That should help you reach at least level 40 to 45 fairly quickly. All right guys, that's going to end the video. Let me know in the comments if this guide helped, if I missed something, or if you know of any other beginner strategies that could help new players. Leave a like if you want to see more of these guides. Maybe I'll do one for intermediate players once I get there myself. Let me know below what you would like to see. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.